So, um, I think I suck at commentaries now. Because I, I was about halfway through this commentary, and, you know, I think I just got so excited that, like, my hand went flying, knocked my cup of coffee over, and, uh, spilled everywhere. Spilled on my guitar, spilled on my fan, which blew the coffee to more parts of my room. It was, it was bad. Um, so yeah, this is, this is take, like, three or four now, so... There you go. <laughs> What's going on, guys? Uh, long time, no see. Yeah, I know. But, um, yeah, <laughs> I'm here. We're here now. I wanted to tell you guys a story about my uh, my Thanksgiving, um, which which really gives you a kind of a perspective of how often I really upload now. But, uh, you know, I'm going to work on that. So, um, Thanksgiving. And it's not actually about Thanksgiving. It's the day after Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving was great. Had a bunch of food. It was, it was awesome. Um... And normally, the day after Thanksgiving, you know, my family prepares this uh, big meal with all the leftovers and stuff. Um, and that's always nice. But, um, and for those of you who don't know, my family, my extended family, about 20 of us, usually get a cabin in Arrowhead. Um, and we, um, we, we chill there. It's great. Good times. Very close to that part of my family. This year, they decided, you know, that they weren't going to make, like, some awesome leftover, like, turkey pasta or something. That was what we had two years ago. It was amazing. This year, they, they didn't do that. They were kind of like, all right, you guys are on your own. Uh, so my cousin and I, you know, we'd been drinking all day. We were, we were pretty, we were a little buzz and we we're like, we're getting pretty hungry. And they drop that, that bomb on us. Like you're making your own food. And we look at each other like, dude, I don't know how to cook. Um, fortunately our cabin was close to like the, the downtown like village area. Uh, so we, so we head down there. We walked down there because they, they had a McDonald's there. Um, and we were, we were about that desperate to where we were, we were going to go to McDonald's. So we get to McDonald's and the line is out the door so apparently many families decided you know fuck this fuck the cooking like you guys are all on your own uh so there's a line out the door and we kind of looked at each other like i don't know if i want to wait 20 minutes to get a shitty sandwich or a shitty hamburger um but then luckily we noticed that there was a sports bar like right across the uh, parking lot like right across the shopping center uh which was also very packed and full um and it was probably i think there was a, a college football game like alabama or someone i don't know some football game was going on. Um, so we go into the sports bar. Uh, we order some food there. We order some drinks. Uh, we have our own little, like, uh, table. And, you know, we're, we're kind of just vibing. You know, it's, it's good times. You know, I, I start getting really into the football game, too. Like, I was drinking. Like, everyone in there was super into it. And I was like, yeah, like, fuck. I don't even know what teams were playing. But I was I was into it. I remember a ref made probably a good call. But I, I freaked out. I thought it was the worst call I've ever seen in my life. Anyways, um, game ends, you know, the bar starts to clear out a little bit, uh, so just me and my cousin, um, a few other of, like, I, I would, uh, suspect the, uh, the bar regulars that are there probably almost every night, uh, but then there's these three really, really attractive blondes, um, and so, you know, my cousin and I were like, alright, you know, let's go up to them, let's see what's up, so, um, you know, we, we go up to them, we're like, hey, how's it going, like, can we buy you a drink, trying to get to know them and everything, they didn't want to have anything to do with us, they, they legitimately looked at us like, get the fuck out of here, uh, but, you know, we, we were not taking no for an answer, we bought them drinks, we bought us a pitcher, um, and, you know, we continued to drink with them a little bit, um, hitting on them not doing a very good job you know whatever and then they dropped the excuse of like oh you know we're all just gonna go go out to our car and get something we'll be right back and my cousin and i are like oh, okay for sure like we'll see you later like you guys aren't coming back so um yeah i got to strike out with those girls but uh anyways so we're there for about two hours probably had a little bit too much to drink so you know we decided you know we, we should probably call it a night you know we need we should get back to our family um so we start heading back to our cabin we're about halfway back when my other cousin calls me and says, hey, like, I thought you guys said you were at the sports bar. Like, where are you? And we're like, oh, you know, we decided to walk back. You know, we, we, we've probably had enough. Um, we're going to go spend time with the family. My friend's like, dude, you guys should totally walk back to the sports bar, hang out with us. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll buy you your first round. Uh, which really wasn't our first round, but, you know, I couldn't say no to that. So we go ahead, we walk back. Um, at this point, it's really, there's not many people in there. Um, but they had like this DJ and so, you know, I took it upon myself to uh, start moving the tables around, uh, making a dance floor, uh, because you know, when I, uh, when I started drinking, my, my dance moves are just unbelievably amazing. Like, trust me. Um, in actuality, they're pretty bad, but you know, I, I don't really care about that. Um, so, you know, I started moving the tables, making this dance floor. Manager's not really having it with us. He, he doesn't really want us to, um, be doing that. So, you know, we, we keep drinking and everything. And eventually the, the manager's like, all right, you guys need to get the fuck out. Like you're being, you're being too just ridiculous. Uh, so yeah, got, got kicked out. 
So we're walking back. Keep in mind, it's November. It's we're in a mountain, uh, so it's pretty cold. We're, we're pretty cold, and we're walking back to our house. And you know, we were kind of like, damn, like it, it's really cold outside. My cousin's like, you know what? I feel like if we run, it'll warm us up. And before any of us have a time to react to the just ridiculousness of what he just said, he takes off in his full sprint. Um, and you know, we were like, oh, that's fucking hilarious. Like that's great. So, you know, it takes us about 30 minutes to walk back to our uh, cabin, which definitely felt like a longer walk than normal. Uh, we get in, we walk in, and, you know, we were like, oh, okay, what's up? Where's Sean? Sean was the uh, cousin that was with me the whole night, the one that decided to run to warm himself up. They told me they hadn't seen him all night, and, you know, I don't know. I was just like, oh, you guys are joking. You guys are trying to fuck with me. Like, I'm not gonna even going to listen to you. Go ahead, sit on the couch. And they're like, no, like, we really don't know where Sean is. Like, we thought he was with you. And then, so, we quickly realized, like, we don't know where he is. And so, one of my uncles and another cousin who hadn't been drinking, they're like, all right. They grab the keys. They're like, all right, we're going to go look for him. And so, they take off. And you're like, and at this point, I'm thinking to myself, like, there's no way I could let them do this by themselves. Like, I got to embrace my, um, my inner Coast Guard and go find them myself. So, I take it upon myself to go out and walk around and look for him. Um, so I kind of just leave, which, I mean, I, I, I don't know if you guys fully understand that we're in Arrowhead, which is a mountain with forests, and I, I am there for a week out of the year, and it's always a different spot, so I have no idea where the hell I'm going, um, still, still feeling the alcohol a little bit, uh, and I'm walking around everywhere, I'm trying to call him, there's no service, I finally get a hold of him, and I'm like, dude, where are you, and he's like, bro, like, I don't know, like, I see trees and, like, a road, and I was like, dude, that doesn't fucking help me at all. Um, so eventually, <laughs> eventually I fucking wind up finding him and it made me feel really good about myself that I was only found him and the sober people driving around looking for him didn't find him. That made me, uh, actually feel really good about myself. Um, but yeah, this whole, this whole thing, I mean, I found him around like two o'clock in the morning and I think we left for McDonald's around six in the, that evening. So, um, yeah, it was, it was definitely a, an adventure, but one for the books. So, um, yeah. That's my story. Let me know if you guys have a similar experience to this. Any tales you want to tell me. Um, I, I appreciate you guys being patient with me with these uploads. I, I realize I'm not uploading very frequently. Uh, my last video did insanely well. There was like over a thousand likes on it. And I, I honestly can't thank you guys enough for the, the support you guys have shown me. Um, I, I really feel like I take you guys for granted sometimes because I, I just can't believe how like dedicated my subscribers are. So it really does make... Uh, it's, a, it's a big deal to me, so I, I really thank you guys for that. I thank you guys for watching this video. Hopefully more to come before the next year happens. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I will see you guys later. Alright, peace.